Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Infinite Crypto Cruisers. Hey there, folks. My name is Brad Varnell, and this is the Infinite Crypto YouTube channel. And today I am so excited to introduce a token to you through one of our new segments called Token Teasers. And today I have one of the co-founders here with me of a project that we are super, super excited about. This token has incredible real world utility, real world use case. It's mission driven. And here at Infinite Crypto, we believe that this could be an absolutely amazing investment too. So without any further ado, I would like to welcome William from the Carbify IO team onto the channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. It's very nice uh, being here. It's already evening for me, but um, that's why it's a bit, a little bit dark, but I'm on the other side of the world. So, uh, but thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely, man. Thank you for uh, taking a few minutes out of your busy day to uh, spend some time with us. I know that you've got a lot going on and uh, man, this is, you know, things are heating up. So I'm sure you're probably, you know, you're in that no sleep phase of life. Exactly. Yes, and then uh, besides that, I also have uh, three kids and a girlfriend, so uh, and uh, and uh, one of the co-founders. So uh, yeah, no sleep uh, for me for the past uh, two years and probably for the next two years. Yeah, that's awesome. I have two children myself. They're both grown up. I've got a daughter that's about ready to turn twenty-one and a son that just turned eighteen. You look a little younger than me, so I'm guessing yours are probably a little bit younger. Yeah, a bit. I have twins of uh, almost nine and the youngest uh, is uh, six. And they also one of the reasons uh, why we started the Kybify. So it's, uh, it's always uh, nice to have them and uh, as an extra motivation to make this a success. Amen. You know, one of my mentors always says that your why has to make you cry, you know, and that uh, in order to in order to have the fortitude to go through the challenges and to go through the ups and the downs and everything that it takes to take a company like Carbify from nothing to something, you know, special, you know, there's, there's a lot that you, that you got to go through and that why when you're having those tough days and you start thinking about why you're doing it and your kids pop into your mind, that's what gets you through. Exactly. Could not agree uh, more. It's uh, that's exactly the reason why we do it. What uh, motivates us every day and uh, what uh, makes us uh, want to make this a success. Awesome. So, you know, tell us a little bit about how you got involved in blockchain and crypto and how, you know, Carbify came to fruition. So I was, uh, I graduated in law um, and uh, worked at uh, cash collecting offices for all my life. And uh, after that, uh, I went to uh, a man management position uh, within a grocery store um, concern. But when my kids were born, I realized that, all right, this is not something that in 50 years they will look back at and say, hey, my dad, uh, this, this, did uh, that. And uh, I mean, it's not really making a change. And um, but everything in the climate going on, uh, heating, flooding, uh, extreme colds, uh, extreme uh, droughts, it's, I mean, it's going everywhere. I, and I, I, I say I, but we all, we are with three co-founders and we all agree uh, on this. So we, wanted to create at least a better world than when we started on it. And especially for our kids that in 50 years, they can say, hey, my dad, and we are all three, we are dead. So um, uh, our dads did something to at least not make it any uh, worse, but uh, help to make it a bit better. That's why we said, okay, hey, we wanted to start a company with a real utility and impact in the real world. I love it. And so how does Carbify do that? So with Carbify, we decided we wanted to disrupt the current carbon credit market. I mean, carbon credits I, here in Europe, they are on the news uh, every week. Uh, I don't know what it's uh, like at the other side of the ocean, but carbon credits are basically part of the pro problem. It's, it's double counting, double spending, fraud, and all those trees that are there are not doing additionality um, and we wanted to create something additional to help at least get more co2 out of the air so we plant trees we call them nf trees um, and i say trees but it's an agroforestry system basically a food forest and we plant those food forests at local communities in the amazon and last year we, we planted and geotech 680,000 agroforestry systems 
And when they are fully grown, so in a few years, three or four years, they are producing 30 million kilos of food for the local communities, which they can all keep. And we um, we made an, uh, a business model out of it by selling the carbon debits. And it's, I mean, nobody has heard of carbon debits before because we invented it. We are the first certified carbon debit in the world. But you can compare it with a credit card and a debit card. Credit card is a loan or money that you don't have to have yet, as long as you have it at the end of the month. Um, and a debit is, um, is um, CO2 that has already been absorbed before you spend it. Awesome. Well, let's go over and take a look at your uh, website and, you know, kind of give people a little bit more of an idea of exactly what, you know, what all of that means. So this is, you know, the Carbify uh, website for all of you that are watching. If you want to go take a look at this website, it's Carbify.io. And you can see right here, you know, we offer the world's most impactful carbon offsets. So is there anything on the website that you would really like to uh, highlight? Well, I think this slogan says it all. I mean, uh, this is a crypto uh, channel and we have a crypto token, but this, what makes us so unique is that we offer a real world utility. We often, we often, we offer, sorry, carbon offsets to companies. So traditional B2B companies without them knowing that they are a crypto token, because I mean, for the traditional B2B crypto is still a bit scary. So we, we, if in the talks we mention that we utilize Web3 or blockchain technology, but we don't mention that we offer them an NFT uh, or certificate. So it's, um, I think the website is more, it's a bit more focused on the traditional um, um, companies, unless you go to individual plans and then there you see more about Carbify as a company for the crypto community. Awesome. So if I understand you correctly, you kind of have a duality to you where you're very much, uh, you know, able to be successful outside of the the cryptocurrency space. Uh, but you've blended the two together pretty darn well. Exactly. So we are creating revenue outside crypto, which is fairly uh, unique for a crypto uh, project. And we make sure that the crypto community, so all the CBY holders are benefiting from it. Uh, by introducing uh, use cases from the traditional B2B side, when they, for example, purchase uh, trees, we'll make sure that the community will benefit from it and um, well, that thus uh, hopefully creating um, token demand. Awesome. Yeah, I notice here on the website, it looks like you have individual plans and business plans, so you can kind of work with, uh, you know, work with, you know, everybody. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we made the differentiation. So of differentiation. So if you, for example, as a YouTube channel, want to offset this interview, for example, you can yep. go to the business portal and you can buy a tree or you can buy carbon offsets. But if you, as an individual watching this interview uh, and want to buy some CBY, then we have for the individuals the option to purchase tokens or uh, or trees. Okay, interesting. And then how does purchasing a tree benefit uh, the person that does it. It sounds like it's a great thing to do and very, uh, fill it, uh, you know, like it's it's a it's a great way to give back. But it sounds like it also helps the person that purchased the tree. Yes. So trees generate, um, and it's not a financial advice, but it's stating uh, numbers. It's trees generate CO two tokens. So one tree costs $15 to buy. And okay. a tree is generating 175 kilos of CO2 and that's 170 per year for the next 20 years. And that 175 tokens you can sell for uh, 1.5 cents each, which means that if you do the math, you will have a return of something between 20 and 30% uh, ROI on your investment of a tree. That is, if you are in it for the money. If you want to make an impact, then you can buy the tree. You can offset uh, your carbon footprint and you still have the tree, which accumulates the CO2. But you can do it also for uh, the climate. And that's a choice that you can make. I mean, you can utilize uh, the CO2 for profit. 
um, or to make change and, um, and compensate it yourself. That is amazing. It's really amazing. Well, how did you guys come up with this idea? I mean, how in the world did this become a brainchild of yours? <laughs> How um, how do these uh, ideas uh, um, come to mind? Yeah, I think that is what everybody is asking themselves. Even I mean, two years in this project, we are still wondering. Okay, how did we come up with this uh, in the beginning? It's I think it's from an incentric value, right? So it's not about making money. I mean, on trees, we barely make any money uh, because it's not. I mean, we don't really care about that. It's more about giving the locals. An impact, so we are providing food, education, economic um, uh, growth, and for us, it's okay. We can make a change, CO2 additionality, so no forest preservation because that really does not help uh, the whole climate uh, problems. Right, and it's also the right time, right? So here in Europe, it's f a very hot topic, and um, in 2030, everybody needs to reduce or compensate their carbon footprint. So we are early on, which means that for the long term, we have, we have a perfect foundation set up uh, for us to be here for the next uh, 50 years. I love it. You talked about your kids and this is probably something that they'll end up inheriting someday and uh, helping you run. Probably, yes. And yeah. that's, I mean, I hope so. I love it. You know, I'm a huge proponent. I don't I've said it a million times on my channel. I just, I don't believe God put us here on this earth to work for 40, 50, 60 hours a week for 40, 50, 60 years of our life for another person. You know, having somebody tell us when we got to be there, when we can leave, when we can go to the bathroom, when we can go on vacation, uh, just to bar barely pay our bills and exist. I just, to me, that is not why we were put here. And I love um, I love everything about what you've said today. And I'm excited to see it grow. And, uh, you know, on the fun side of things, I would love to show off this game that you that you have uh, going on and just have you, you know, touch, uh, you know, briefly on this uh eco empires this looks like a lot of fun and so uh it looks like you know not only you are you guys you know serious with the environment and the carbon credits but you also got a fun side to you yeah so um one of our co-founders toby is an ex-pro gamer and uh, one of his uh, dreams was always to create a game and me and yap are even big nerds so uh, we, uh, we thought okay, hey let's uh, do this and it's a combination of Settlers of Catan and Travian or Tribal Wars, where you need to expand your village, conquer and, um, and capture as many other uh, villages as you can. We the, There's just a new trailer up. We released it last week. And it's on our YouTube uh, channel. And we did a closed alpha round, but the, but the beta round will be live in November. So it's uh, only five weeks away. Which is amazing. I mean, it's a Web 2 game with Web 3 elements. So, for example, you can swap CBY for Talium, the in-game uh, currency. And Talium is not a token because we don't want to monetize everything. Um, we, well, we might in the future, but right now we decided, okay, let's keep it a Web 2 focus. So you can play it on your mobile. It will be, it can be in Steam, Google, Apple, everywhere. Um, it's about building together a new world. Um, and if you want, we introduce you to the ecosystem with Carbify, with the trees, with land plot staking, uh, CBY, everything, but you don't have to. So we target traditional Web2 gamers because the market is huge. Awesome. When you mentioned Toby as a co-founder, that's not Toby Lewis by any chance, is it? No, 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 it's okay. not. No. <laughs> no. Uh, there's a gentleman named Kobe, uh, Toby Lewis that was work, works with a company, uh, uh, ordinals bought the trio token and i actually noticed that they were following you on twitter and so i thought maybe yeah. when you mentioned the name toby that he was involved in in this project too no 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 he's not and it, you know what the funny thing is when we started carbify we were very i mean we are three dutch guys and and one of the dutch being dutch is very i mean we are very down to earth so we don't hype we don't chill and we always said okay hey if people want to follow us then they will find us and we don't really care about marketing. Um, but that after two years in crypto, we realized, okay, hey, we need, sometimes we need to be more active 
We have lots of partnerships also in the crypto side. For example, we help Offset, Uniswap, Apebonds, Quickswap, Moonbeam. They're all carbon neutral by us. Um, awesome. And we see more and more people asking for, can you help us with carbon calculations? Can you offset? Because we are the only ones in the world who can offer full transparency because we utilize blockchain technology. So from the yeah. moment the tree is planted till a carbon reduction certificate, it's all on chain and it's all traceable. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah, I really like the Moonbeam Network. It's one of the one of the ecosystems that I really think is going to flourish here, um, you know, in the future. I know in the last couple of years, uh, you know, since they locked up that parachain uh, position and, and stuff, we've been kind of going through the the bear market. But I think as things start to turn around and we really go through this upcoming bull market that most of us believe is right around the corner, I think the Moonbeam ecosystem is going to do very well. Uh, exactly. Yeah, we just went with them in uh, Blockchain Rio. So we we shared the booth with the Moonbeam uh, team. It's amazing, amazing guys. And we are very proud on that partnership also because we are partnered in the um, in the ecology uh, side of it. So carbon mm -hmm. neutral, but also in the technical. We use them as a as a tree hub for our smart contracts. It's amazing team. Fantastic. Well, let's run over real quickly and take a peek at CoinGecko. So folks, you know, for my community members, I know that you were waiting uh, patiently for this part that, uh, you know, that you kind of want to know, OK, how does this translate into investment? So it's very important, um, you know, like me and William, we're not at financial advisors. This is not financial advice. Uh, William doesn't endorse anything that I'm going to say here. This is just all my own opinion. But when we're going through and looking at companies that we want to feature on the channel, it's important for us to find companies that we believe have tremendous upside, folks. And so as you can see here, you know, uh, Carbify right now is 1550th on CoinGecko as far as their market cap, sitting at about 76 cents with a market cap of, you know, seven and a half million fully diluted is still only $38 million, folks. And I really like to signify you know, or show this off, William, that, you know, back in April when things were really going good and Bitcoin was reclaiming all time highs, this token was well over four dollars and 36 cents. So it's had a retracement just like all of the other altcoins have. But what in a great time, in my opinion, to get some, you know, get some funds into this project, if you do your own research and you like what you see. I like getting a discount and being able to get in on this token, you know, at an 82% discount compared to what it was just a handful of months ago is amazing. And I also really like the fact, William, that you guys are available in some really great spots. I mean, Ascendex is a great exchange. I like Mexi Global. I use them a lot. And then, of course, Uniswap on the Polygon network, folks. So you can buy these through your MetaMask account through you know Uniswap and pay almost no fees. The Polygon network is incredible for fees. Um, once again, you know William, I know that you have to be very careful with what you say. But is there anything that I left out? Anything that you would like to add about the token price or anything about this uh, you know investment opportunity? I think uh, the only thing <laughs> that I can state without any problems is that. The focus on CBY has uh, yet to start. So I'll leave it at that. Sounds good. And you know, one thing that we did talk a little bit about too was the utility. So it really is a utility token with incredible real world value. And it sounds like you are, you know, just like if you bought Microsoft stock back in the 1990s, as that company became more and more and more and more successful, it's kind of somewhat inevitable that stock price rose with its success. And it feels like to me, Carbify is in a very similar position that as you become more and more and more successful, you know, the token yeah, price- exactly. I mean, oh. I, I agree. And that is the beautiful thing that we have revenue outside crypto, but we will make sure that CBY holders will benefit from it. So it's exactly the exact the example that you gave um, and that's how we also see it awesome man well 
where do you want my community to come and become a part of your community? I know that you have an amazing Twitter channel. You've got a great Telegram group. Um, are those your two main places that you would like our community to come? You want to be yeah. Discord? Where do you want to become? Discord. Yeah. Discord. yeah. I mean, we have a very tight community on Discord. Everybody's super helpful and um, talkative. Uh, we got a lot of messages. Um, and uh, last week I was in, uh, in Luxembourg at the Ministry of Finance. We had to pitch for an accelerator program. And you see for, uh, for all the financial institutions, but you see that. I mean, if we are away from Discord for two or three days, it's crazy. It's constant okay, messages, awesome. which is amazing. I'm very proud of our community. But it's Discord and X, where our community is most active. All right, you got it, folks. So go check out the description of this video. We will have the links to the Discord group, the link to their uh, Twitter account. And, uh, you know, once again, William, I know it's getting a little bit later there for you. I want you to be able to go enjoy your evening, you know, tuck your tuck your kids in and uh, and have a fantastic night. So thank you so much for your time. And we we'll definitely have you back on the channel in the not too distant future. I really look forward to as some of the updates start to happen. Um, some of the things that we talked about off camera when you're actually ready to fully announce those, uh, feel free to reach back out to the infinite crypto channel and we'll get you back on here and update our community and update everybody on the new happenings with Carbify. Thank you very much. It was very nice uh, being here and uh, really looking forward to uh, talking to you again. Awesome. We'll do. We'll talk soon.